patient um, question. So the unknown solution is actually sulfuric acid. We know the volume. We just don't know the concentration. So that's the one we are going to find out. Okay, the uh, the concentration, the molarity of sulfuric acid. We need to find out what is that. Okay, um, and then we have to use this balance equation. So this tells us one mole of sulfuric acid uh, reacts with two moles of potassium hydroxide, which is a titran. We should be able to know the moles using its volume and molarity, all right? And we know the mole ratio between the two, then we can find out the number of moles of sulfuric acid. Then the moles of sulfuric acid divided by its volume in liter, that should be what is asked. We should be able to find that out. So that's the strategy, okay? Uh, let's just start working on that. We start with what we know. We know the titran information, potassium hydroxide. So we start with uh, 22. 0.87 milliliter. We know when using molarity, we have to always use liter as the unit for volume. Okay, so this is volume milliliter milliliter is cancelled. Now we have liters. Okay, so and now liter time volume time the molarity. What is the molarity? Molarity is right here. Okay, so liters times molarity, 0 0.158. I don't want to write M because we cannot see the cancellation of the units. Instead, what is the molarity? It's mole per liter. All right, so a liters, liters are cancelled. Uh, it's the mole of what? It's not sulfuric acid, it's the titran. Potassium hydroxide, all right? So now I have to convert from moles of a potassium hydroxide to the moles of sulfuric acid. Doing stoichiometry now. Moles of potassium hydroxide to moles of sulfuric acid. It's like in the general case, from moles of A to moles of B, and then you go back to the balance equation, just write down the corresponding coefficient. Here, as the conversion factor, two moles, KOH, one mole, H2SO4. Okay? So, and now as you can see that moles, of potassium hydroxide, moles of potassium hydroxide, and now we have moles of sulfuric acid. Again, what is the molarity? Molarity is mole over volume in liter, all right? So, and then we already have the moles, we just simply divided by the volume in liter. And the volume is 20 milliliter. You have to change that to liter. Okay. So after you finish this uh, entire calculation, that should give you 0 0.0903. If you look at the, if you look at the uh, units, the milliliter, milliliter are gone. Then you have mole on top, and the liter on bottom. Moles over liter, moles over liter. So that's simply just uh, molarity. And then B should be the correct answer.